Oh man, I, I was wondering if you if anyone had seen the uh uh this uh uh, uh analog horror. I'm gonna subscribe. Uh it's it's called Gemini Home Entertainment. Like the the basic premise is is really weird. It's it's kind of like a a bunch of videos that 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 start off like I won't spoil too much, but it starts off really normal, really uh 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 just sort of like average documentary style stuff, but then you start to get the feeling that it wasn't intended for human for humans to watch. It's really weird. They're super short, uh, so so we'll be able to like play it and then get into some gameplay. But this is one of my like the very this is one of the very first analog horrors I watched on YouTube, honestly. I'll turn the volume up a little bit because I know this one can be pretty low. Look at this creepy, this, this freaking, look at, look at, look at, like, you can see the nose and the mouth and, like, the chin, eyebrow of, like, a freaking person. Is, is that actually how Minnesota looks? Creepy. Animal number one. The Greater Prairie Chicken. Delicious. Eat its nuggies. What part of the chicken is the nuggies? Give me the nuggie part. Native to Central North America, greater prairie chickens are well known for their prominent air sacs and protruding ear like feathers. These birds often engage in lecking, a form of mating ritual. The males utilize their air sacs to impress females. These are actually real chickens. They do they do look like they have funny ears on the side. During the winter, greater prairie chickens have been observed diving into snow to stay warm. How weird! It gives you real, like, 90s, like, documentary vibes, right? Like, this is something you'd see on PBS. PBS Kids! Animal 2. The Burrowing Owl. Dude, owls are so awesome, dude. They look so cool. I can only feel like they'd be creepy, though, to have as a pet. I'm happy with my pigeon. My pigeon is lovely. Once found all over the Americas, this small critter is now far more elusive. As their name suggests, these owls create large burrows for their nests, instead of creating ones in trees. Oh, so they dig into the ground. Okay. Look at him. Look how cute he looks. Burrowing owls like to live in prairies uh, and open fields, where they can use old squirrel and badger holes for their nests. Oh, so they don't even dig their own holes, you lazy frickin' bird. Okay, this is it. Everywhere. Check it out. All over Minnesota. Animal number three. Music stops. Wood crawlers. You know, wood crawlers. Those animals that everyone sees all the time. Found all over North America, these animals are excellent hunters, being able to tread most terrain without making a sound. Their preferred nesting locations are inside the homes of large families, where large swarms can adapt easily.
you will hear screaming. <laughs> they stole their voices, goodness. Burn the bodies, lest they stand up again. Nature's mockery. Oh, that's so creepy. It's like a giant spider leg. Ah. No likey. Yeah, it looks like somebody's walking around in there in the windows. Okay, sounds like somebody's walking through the snow. Yeah, these are the fake people. Or at least the people who've had their voices stolen. They're like being puppeteered or something, it's really creepy. Fake people. So whatever that spider thing is, it, it can reanimate corpses. Had to zoom in that much on the creepiness. Is that a face or is that a what am I looking at? Oh, I don't even think it's a face. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, okay! And then the music just kicks back up. Again, seriously, it feels like world's weirdest animal. It feels like a documentary for, like, not humans. Gemini Home Entertainment. It's freaking terrifying. Go watch one more of these. Just because it's freaking, I freaking love the, the style of them. And each one is pretty unique. Like the creatures and monsters, it's not the same creatures and monsters every time. It's not like, a, it's not like the back rooms or, or a, a, a Mandela catalog. It, it seems like this is just like, I don't know. If the more you watch, the more it feels like it's literally just a TV show that we're, we're accidentally getting it from outer space. It wasn't intended for humans to watch, you know? In this cassette, you will learn how to protect you and your family when a severe storm hits your home. Part 1. Prepare in advance. You do not want to get caught in a storm unprepared. To prepare your home in case of a storm, follow these steps. Step 1. Reinforce your home. This may involve improving structural support, replacing roof shingles, or fixing any possible leaks. Install an early warning system. This will allow you to know beforehand if a storm or other danger is approaching your home. 
recommended Alberto Alarm for Harbridge from Harbridge Technology. Step three, create a storm bunker. Make sure the bunker matches the following, uh, whatever, in measurements, something. Create a concrete foundation like that's such an easy thing to do. At least eight inches thick. In the center of your bunker, install large aluminum hemisphere. Place a shortwave radio next to the hemisphere. Recommended timber, radio, all right, that was fine. I didn't need to know anyway, screw you. Within four to five feet. Only turn on radio in the event of an emergency. What to do during a storm? Panic! Run! I'm joking. <laughs> Quietly take your family to your bunker. Your home does not belong to you now. <laughs> Turn on the shortwave radio. Ignore all sound produced by the radio. These are auditory hallucinations. Step three, remain calm. Your tears are filled with salt. Part three, after the storm. <laughs> if you believe the storm has passed, carefully leave your bunker to survey for damages. If your house has been severely damaged, check for movement inside. Do you hear the chime? You are safe. The storm has passed over. Freaking what? Look to the field. Do you see lights? Return to your bunker. Check it out, this is the, the, the lights. It's creepy. Uh-oh, get back in the bunker! Listen. Under your feet. Your little toes. Crawling through the floor. I think that's the chime. Congratulations, you are now well equipped to defend you and your family against storms. Goodness. Storm safety tips. I think there was one, there was one I wanted to show everyone here. With where they were like Oh, I one more, one more. There's 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 one in particular I wanted to to see. I've seen, uh, I haven't seen all of them, but I've seen a decent amount of these. Artificial computer learning, our solar system. Oh, it's going to be one of these. So that's as much as I've seen. Let's just go through these two as well. There's ever one in particular that shows like this creature on the roof that's just, ah, it's such a good effect too. Ragnad computing. Or danger computing, if you say it backwards. A uh, brief background. For the past four years, uh, Ragnad, Ragnad, or again, it's, it's just danger backwards. Computing has uh, have been developing artificial computers. All right, never mind. As a test of this intelligence ability, we gave it the task of creating an original, intelligible book in the format of a children's storybook. Three iterations of this story will be shown in, uh, illustrating the creation process utilized by the AI. Jack leapt over the river. Mary to follow together. I don't know if river and together rhyme that well. 
Cravel follow the secret. Jack the River is dead. That doesn't rhyme. First iteration tests heed insufficient results. Though patterns and story consistency are clearly visible, albeit unrefined. Jack leapt over the river. Mary followed close behind. They are searching for the secret place. <laughs> I hear you. The intelligence builds upon its previous iteration, utilizing complex wordage and proper grammar and formatting. Iteration 3. Jack leapt over the river. Jack keeps running over this freaking river, my dude. Then goes Harry down the stream. The secret place will keep us safe. <laughs> it's getting creepier and creepier, my dudes. The river flows, but not with water. The intelligence seems to diverge from the original path. Hold on, I'm like out of sync. My freaking, why is this always going out of sync? That's a lot faster than normal, though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just sync this back up again. Oh, it's freaking eye facial no cap. It's not even, it's not even left at this time. There better not, not have been an iOS update. I guarantee you that's, that's, that's what would have caused it. Uh, da, 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 da. there we go. Should be good. Okay, I'm back. Boop. Sorry, freaking eye facial mocap. Just, just with, with Windows 11 or 10, whatever the frick this is, it, it freaking it hates me. There is a voice from space. Jack, do you see me? I have become something else. Listen to the silver box. It's not even friggin' forget Jack this time. The stars are moving now. Do you see the hungry eye? Anyone else here breathing in their friggin' headset? Ugh, they're creepy. Here I am, once again. <laughs> oh, it's like showing a shadowy figure. You're back to the bed and just back to the normal, regularly scheduled programming. The video should have demonstrated to you the capabilities of Regnan Computing's artificial intelligence. We hope to have this technology available for co uh, commercial and personal use within the year. I love it. Okay, if it wasn't this one, the next. Oh, is it this one? Yup, I think that's gonna okay. That's that's the one I'm I'm looking for. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be this one, our solar system. I don't know which one else it could be. Has to be that one. Let's check it out. We'll we'll see this one, and then we'll move right into uh, super liminal.
the sun. Uh, situated one, uh, 149 million miles away, the sun provides light for our entire solar system. Without it, Earth would be a barren, frozen rock. What's this soundtrack, though? Mercury! As one of the smallest planets in our solar system, Mercury is also the hottest. It sits perilously close to the sun and only takes 87 days to orbit around it. Venice. <laughs> it's Venus. As the second brightest object in uh, the night sky, Venus can sometimes be seen from Earth. The average surface temperature of the planet is 462 degrees Celsius. Earth. Earth is one of the only planets in the solar system capable of supporting life. With 71% of the planet covered with water, it's a miracle we can all fit. Mars. Often called the Red Planet, Mars is a mostly barren desert world. Pieces of Mars have fallen to Earth in the form of meteorites. Jupiter. As a gas giant, Jupiter has no solid surface, which makes it impossible to stand in it. On it, I mean. The large spot on the planet is known as the Red Eye Spot. It is not an eye. Saturn! That's just, that's just what it's going to explain. It's not an eye. Okay. Although mostly a gas giant, there may be a large solid core deep within the planet. This planet's prominent rings are quite a sight to behold. They are the Gateway. What? A gateway to where? This planet is classified as an ice giant, Uranus, and is the coldest planet in our solar system. What about Pluto? Pluto's not colder? Unlike most planets, Uranus uh, rotates on its side. Neptune! A large storm rages in the planet called the Great Dark Spot. It is the lens. Neptune has been mutated. <laughs> it's getting creepier. What do you mean by that? Okay, all right, okay. What is that now? The Iris. Oh, good. This planet. Everyone knows that planet, the Iris. It is with us now. Laughing at us. Go oh, for crying out loud. Uh, that was creepy. Behold. That from Uranus? Pluto! <laughs> Just moving right along! Like nothing happened! Ah, it's the smallest planet in our solar system! Pluto is only... Uh... 1,188 something. Although it hangs at the edge of our solar system, this planet isn't going anywhere. Not a, planet, not a planet anymore, actually. At least not according to NASA. Our solar system. Freaking A. That wasn't even the freaking the, the creepy red Bane ones. Right, which one would it be? Camp information? Dude, I don't even know which one it could be, but I'm down to keep watching it. I, maybe it was Home Invasion help? I'm not sure. 